Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel, my name is Lin. I am an overseas student from Vietnam who has the privilege to live and work in the UK. I'm now working as a pharmacist and I view this channel to share all of the learning and all the experience that I go through and it's the channel for me to connect with many more people and we can all learn and grow together. So first of all, I would like to send an apology for all my subscribers that I haven't been able to upload my videos regularly and consistent as I wanted to. It was a long time until I have the opportunity to go back and spend time with my family. So I just want to focus all my attention to them. The other reason why I've not been able to upload my video regularly was the fact that I was dealing with imposter syndrome. As we are growing, and we always striking to become better version of ourselves then we will face the fear of rejection the fear of that imposter syndrome that stop us from striking to be better I hope that you find them useful but I've made this video also as a reminder for myself that I can listen to it because there's no doubt that I will be facing it again and again so hopefully this will be a good reminder for me and for you the fear of rejection that inner voice inside me saying oh who want to listen to me who am i to giving people advice and i keep postponing it postponing it for as long as possible until one day i've decided that that's enough i need to change my inner self that fear of rejection will stop me from pushing myself kind of person you want to become and what makes you feel good about yourself and for me the moment that i get to feel good about myself is when i get to learn a new concept and i get to sit here in front of the camera to share it with you guys the lesson that i've gathered even if it just impact one individual for me that's enough that questioning myself why do i feel that way why do i have that imposter syndrome and that is when i realize that the moment when i start comparing myself to other people say with my peers who might have the same background especially when i went home and start seeing my high school friends and how successful they have become and compared to me when everything was set for me that I had the degree that I've ever wanted I have my house life was just great and then I decided to put a stop into that default lifestyle and start something different uh, yes I am beginner mode again you want to give yourself enough pressure to grow but not so much that it's creating that imposter syndrome to stop you from being you stop you from learning and stop you from getting out of the comfort zone and just like Navo Ravikan in the books that I recently recommend the Almanac of Navo Ravikan have said that jealousy is a disease and even Navo he was at one point having to deal with jealousy and we're living in an age when it's so easy to go on Instagram and Facebook when you see a spotlight of somebody else's life in order to get to where they are they they would have overcome a lot of obstacles but they are not going to show you that they only show you the result the end of it nobody have it easy everybody have to struggle at some point in their life and just like Navo said you can't just constantly comparing yourself to have somebody else's body somebody else's portfolio and somebody else's life and career because you cannot live the life that's the person that you are aspiring 24 7 if you can't do that then to stop comparing yourself Yourself. you're not going to be them you are unique as your own individual and you have your own unfair advantages then just keep being you that's a reminder we only have one life we are unique and just learn to love yourself and I'm so glad to be able to wake up getting out of that imposter syndrome and start sharing my experience again how did I beat that imposter syndrome? Lesson number one that I have is to learn to accept. As I keep pushing the standard of the person that I want to become, there will be self-doubt, there will be criticism, but I have to learn to live with that and use that as a guidance to keep learning. And I just have to live with it and that understanding this is the path that I have decided and I was trying to finish it because if I don't try I automatically fail by default the only time that we would be happy is that we know that we have achieved something that's bigger than us something that's more challenging that self-love is not given to it it is earned the second realization that I have while facing imposter syndrome is that 
I realize that everybody around me struggle, whether you're struggling to meet end needs, whether you're struggling to looking for a job, everybody struggle in whatever circumstances. We walk in through our life worrying that we are going to be judged, that we're not going to be good enough. Everybody will have their own post that they overcome. My dream is different to yours. We're worrying that so and so are judging us, but actually, in their head, they're probably just focusing on their own problem, their own agenda that they have. The fear of being rejected by others, it's just that monkey voice inside us. No one is interested in us, nobody cares whether I post my video weekly because they are so busy focusing on their own problem. The other way to beat imposter syndrome is that we should widen our friendship, widen our circle to connect with many successful people. We are the average of five people we spend the most of our time with and we need to put ourselves into a room where we are the dumbest person in the room. But the other side of a coin in that advice is that everything should be in balance. The other problem we might face is that we will start questioning ourselves if we compare to somebody else have done in their chapter 20 who have done so well for themselves we might feel that yes we are not good enough maybe we just go back to our gym mode but if we compare it to a lot of people in their chapter one who are at the beginning of their career I guess we constantly look up look into our idol, look in, into the people we aspire to become but we forget to look at the people who are less fortunate than us, people who didn't have the opportunity like I do to come to the UK to have the life that I built, the freedom, the flexibility that I have and that's why it's so important to have that in your daily reflection to focus on what is it that you are grateful for, to focus on the glass half full instead of half empty. And finally, as I was researching about the method to beat imposter syndrome, I found a very useful lesson from Ali Abdel. He is an act doctor who turned to become a full-time YouTuber and I find him so inspiring. All of the lessons that he have shared on his channel, if you haven't come across his channel then I strongly suggest you to subscribe to his channel too. The, one of the useful lessons that he shared when he faced imposter syndrome is that we don't have to be a guru, we can just be a guide. I'm not here to claim that I'm an expert in anything, I'm just sharing the journey, the experience that I've gathered. It might be beneficial to somebody at the beginning of their chapter. So I find that so impactful and I would just keep reminding myself that put less pressure in myself and learn to love myself a bit more. So that's it, that's all from me today. Thank you very much for listening about my experience of how I beat imposter syndrome. If you find it useful and if you learn even just one lesson from the video, why not give me a like and if you are new to my channel, why not subscribe to my channel to help me share my experience to many more people. Thank you very much for your time. Take care and I look forward to see you in the next video. Bye bye.